on my way. Don't open the door. What are we crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Mm. That's why you gotta make fire. Because uh, the common trend I'm noticing is they like to axe I the generators. To reach Barry at the cabin, or the fuse boxes. I was out of the woods. <laughs> it's a pun because he's not out of the woods yet. Aha. Uh -huh. He's out of the physical woods. But that's not what he means. I see a page. Whose car is that? What the fuck? Hello. Nightingale fires at wake. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. Wow. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. Wow. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Call of instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. And stumbled into the darkness beyond. Hmm. Hello? Is there any women ladies in here? Are there any females presenting breasts present? Nope. All right, then. <laughs> Garage keys. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. Who the fuck has a TV it, mounted it. in the bathroom? The story grows, it what? Wanting things of its own. Like a Take public restroom. You set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have that. to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Hmm. Huh. What's poppin', Doug? You ain't about that action, Doug? You ain't about that action, Doug? Alright then. I ain't going back in there. Fuck him. You got me all kinds of fucked. Dog, why can't I go? Why can't... Return to Barry. How do I return to Barry? This nigga popped out the stall. You want me to go back in there? I ain't going back in there. Garage keys. Unlock. Some sports bars do... No, no, no. I, d I didn't mean like... I've heard of TVs in... Um... Bathrooms before, of course. I have a sound bar in my bathroom. But, um... I meant like... Okay. Like a shitty little outhouse like this, you wouldn't expect a TV there. Bye, nigga. No, oh, this is driving is so weird. Yeah, boo. I'm trying to hit one of these niggas. Oh, wait. I just gotta put the headlights on these bitches? Hey, 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 Dog, can this camera angle choose a direction? <laughs> boom, boom. You next, dog. Look at this idiot. God of War winning game of the year? It's fucking amazing! That fucking amazing ass game got the recognition it fucking earned. I don't say deserved, it earned that shit. Fuck these whores, dog. You see me whipping this bitch around, dog? 
It earned that fucking recognition. And I'm so beyond ecstatic, EXK static, that that bitch won. Back the fuck up off me, dude! You niggas think just because you spooky and you got some shadow dust around you or some shit, you immune. You ain't immune. You ain't immune, dog. Where do these niggas keep coming from? Dog, I hate you too. Boo, boo. Does it matter where I go? Dog, they're everywhere. I think they're just gonna keep spawning. I'm just gonna book it. Why do they put a place for a ramp in this game? Oh God, the car is smoking. Wait, wait. Wait, this isn't where I go. Wait. Hold on, I might have done something bad. Uh. 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 These the controls to drive in this game. Why are these lights flashing? They're done like in an opposite manner of how they should be. Lay that nigga out, dog. Like it's very. I'm trying to think of how to describe it. It's very sensitive, but slow to react, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like, if you were to, yo, can I heal my car? Can I get out of the car? What? I can leave the car? Just looking for a manuscript page, that's all. So, like, if the car breaks, I guess you can still continue on. This bitch is smoking. The guy who played Arthur Morgan won best performance? I agree. I heard Red Dead won everything else but Game of the Year. Which is fine with me. I think they were both um, amazing games. And if either had won Game of the Year, it would be perfect. But I'm very happy God of War won. But I think it, I think it really honestly deserves... I say deserves, but I just had a whole speech about earned versus deserved. I think it definitely earned it. Yo. Barry? Oh my god, why? The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Can't pick up no more ball ammo. Oh, hey, 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 no, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck you, niggas, dog. Back the fuck up off me, bitch. Dog. Dog. You jokers need to relax. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch, where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple what? as that. I don't, listen. Listen, no, Mr. Wilson, I didn't, Doug. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done? I need a week. It's a manuscript, dumbass. Hey, the old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The city boy. Building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. Not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Let her go. You can find a new wife. You can get a new wife, easy peasy. Ain't gotta worry about shit. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Hey, don't cry, Barry. I'm here, Doug. Give me the flare gun, Doug. I'm about to say, I know I can hold more. This a couple nigga. of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Okay, can you let me in? Ow, ow, ow. What in the fuck? Oh, 
Might have to kill the birds. Can you guys stop? <laughs> My objective is to defeat the birds. Ah, I wasn't facing the right way. <laughs> Please, stop. Oh, I can cook them up like this, though. I don't know who I should be facing, Doug. I'm trying, Doug. You gotta let me work. Now, what if I just shoot these things with a flare gun? God damn. Jesus. Doug, stop, stop, stop. Doug, I, I can't look at two sides at once, bro. What the fuck was that? Um, I mean, RM, I guess I could agree with that. I mean, I just can't, I, I can't speak solidly on Red Dead 2 yet because I haven't beaten it. Once I beat it, then I can accurately assess the two, but I'm not going to speak on it and say, yes, this is definitely better, or yes, that's definitely better. I'm just happy God of War 1. I played all the games on that list except for, well, I didn't, I, I played half the games on the list. I take it back. I didn't play as many as I thought. I haven't played Odyssey yet. I really want to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Celeste, I've never heard of. And Monster Hunter World, I know a lot of people talk about it and whatnot, but I was just never into Monster Hunter games, so. It was good, and it was good. Can we, can the birds, like, come down here so I can attack you? Or do I just stand here? Are we good? Doug. That shit all the way up there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Like, I get defeat the birds, but the birds don't stop coming. You can open the door now. They're gone. Apparently, they're gone. They're all gone, big dog. I know, right? Whew. I sent Barry right, to, town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. Mm. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. But it's not the story you're telling. <laughs> It is, but it isn't. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. A tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. And I couldn't put a single word on paper. Mm. I know, right? The moment I say something, that's when all the birds disappear. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Why she sounds so robotic? Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. 
Welcome to, to the, the old old dear diner. Good girl. A pussy trap. A pussy trap. I remember this trailer, this scene, this chapter I remember from the first time I played it. The only time I played this game, I should say. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -da -da. Can you tell me where I am? You won't you say something? End of episode two. Anyways, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Like 30 second break. Give me one second. BRB. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline <laughs> is in two days. I found Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. 
Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Just follow me. It's not far. Listen, I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Oh, give me a break, mister. Can we just get a move on? 30 seconds is a long time, Vamp Cinder. I guess. Will the game continue? <laughs> I guess it continue. You know, I had the idea that it might happen. I was like, what would happen if the game, if the song ended and the game just auto-played? So, I guess no one gets a recap. <laughs> it's just, I didn't want to start the next chapter yet. And I didn't want to, like... Close the game and all this extra. Just a bad decision. Bad decision. Mistakes were made. But hey, at least you guys heard it all, right? You got to envision it. <sighs> I know. Only on a The King Navi live stream. Only here. Only here. Only here. Run it back? How do you want me to run it back? How do you want me to do that? How do you want me to run it back? So my guess is we showed up, met this nigga Randolph who owns the park, and he's going to show us where homegirl lives. Why is this nigga... Oh... Oh. This is episode three, right? All right, so let me see if I... Oh, it only shows the ones that have been special one, special two. Hello? Hey, so if I click this, it's the one we just did, right? Previously on Alan Wake, Alan Look at that. has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? Exactly this is what you guys heard? I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Yeah, yeet. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. Woo. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. 
We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. So we're hunting a Thanks, Randolph. Agent. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. Look at Barry. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy Ventus, called Thomas thank you for the three months, Doug. Zane. Now, Appreciate some of the it. articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. That's epic. Imagine, like, you get up to heaven, and they're like, yo, what are you in for? And it's like, volcano eruption. Like, you'd automatically be, like, the dopest nigga in heaven. Like, who the fuck else dies to a volcano eruption? Well, a bunch of people in Pompeii, but you know what I mean. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Let's get it, Doug. Am I going to limp like that, too? This is a long-ass game. I don't think it's any longer than um, everything else we streamed this week. I don't really think it is. Why was that a checkpoint? The chapter just started. Randy's dogs. Yo, can you open up? I'm hungry, B. Why is there a boat that's been flipped over? And you are just calm about it. This is not normal. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Hmm. He says, we're damn lucky he didn't crush any of the trailers. Like, no one heard it overnight or anything? It's six chapters, 11 hours long. Yeah, I know. There's a, a thermos here. Yeah, I know how long all the games are. That's what I was saying. It's no longer than any other game we played this week. Yesterday's stream was 11 and a half hours long. Day before that was 11 hours long. Day before that was 10 and a half hours long. Day before that was 9 hours long. Day before that was 11 hours long. So. It's not far. All right, dog, I got you. I realize your voice echoed and boomed throughout the entire trailer part. Hmm. Hmm. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. <laughs> All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. <gasps> I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. That's my girl. The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Nigga, what are you doing over here? Take me to the goddamn trailer. Uh-huh. She had a breakdown and... And then... 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 Is this it? Can I go now? I don't need to follow you no more. This here's Rose's trailer. Okay. Yes. Do you mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her. I want her coochie. Spare coochie rose. Spare coochie rose. Spare coochie rose. 
finish the story, Barry. I know, right? The fuck you gonna start a goddamn lit ass tale like that? Telling me all the spooky shit about all the spooky niggas. How is that a checkpoint? How is that a checkpoint? Hey, Rose! Open up! She's standing behind the door. Look at her. Look at her. Welcome to... To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. What a lying ass. Thought! Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Damn, nigga! What? What? She gonna touch our balls! Piltsy, thank you so much for the four months, dog. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Who the fuck is Barbara? Is Barbara the old I lady in the black? I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. This you gym. must finish what you started. I insist. Is the I insist like you would you kindly? Turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Turn up the lights in him, baby. Extra bright, I want y'all to see is Back to work, boy. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Same. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. She got an elephant like push. I an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm oh, that's Barbara right Jagger. Faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. So she's our demonic she editor me, I that drowned in the lake a week she before the volcano went up and killed Thomas Zane. About the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. Mm. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Rose took a hey, Barry! Away. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Hey, bitch. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar only. No manuscript pages in here. Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Oh boy, is thick. All right. Deserve more money. I'm so handsome. So the whole point in this was for her to take time away from us for the deadline that the manuscript had. And Rose, where do you take a shit? Because you only have two rooms. I feel like there should be a bathroom here. And I feel like this is a very large block of your trailer missing right here. Like, I feel like there should be a bathroom and, like, a laundry room. And there's nothing there. I guess Rose just shits her pants. Oh, there's a laundry room here. She has just a washer. Huh. My gun and flashlight were gone. Man. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There's no time to waste. Randolph calls the Mr. police. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. 
But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, hmm. like trouble. And they've been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Hmm. So now the sheriff breaker is gonna be all up in our ass. There was no time to waste. Get to the car. <gasps> My nigga Pat. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts. Punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny and... Uh, Is this the guy that was in the jail cell? You know, and, um, I just... Well... I heard something like that, Walt. Mm-hmm. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's going to happen. You know, I got to, I got to, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe. No, that, thanks, Pat. Well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? Oh, it's a song. I was like, who the fuck? Dog, uh, Walt's playlist, not Walt. Uh, Pat's playlist is kind of crazy, dog. This nigga down here, standing in the dark, waiting on us. What you want, dog? You ain't got nowhere else to be. Oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> nigga, this motherfucker. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You For what? A muscle all unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are. This shit went zero to a hundred so fast. They just opened fire on two civilians. What are they have helicopters? Here, you goddamn maniac. Holy fuck. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Bro? Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't understand why this shit went zero to a hundred. I didn't think I was wanted that badly. That you needed helicopters. This nigga like pulled up like I was a fucking serial killer or some shit. You don't see shit, bitch. This nigga pulled up at me like I would. Oh, damn. Bro. <laughs> I slip away. I'm on a trail.
What the shit? I face when you get all stars on GTA, basically. That's what happened. Like I just went from zero to five stars instantly. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Jesus Christ. The dark present sleeps. Hmm. This chapter looks intriguing. For decades. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. Hmm. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of the nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. Hmm. Hmm. So it's trying to get us to do the same. But you don't know me! Excuse me. Uh, spooky shit. I can't really do... They don't blame me for that too, dog. Wait. There's a paper right there, but wait. Over and out. Over and out. Give me this shit, bitch. Rose visited by the dark presence. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer. And she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep. But her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Mm. Alright, Mr. FBI policeman, whoever the fuck you might be working for, can you leave me alone? Like, it's just a thought. It's an idea. I know you're probably gonna keep fucking with me, but... Figured I'd ask. Figured I'd at least ask. There's a checkpoint at the bottom of the stairs and the top of the stairs. Look who that is. I don't know if the game knows this, but I don't have a gun or a flashlight right now. This is like the smoke monster from Lost. It's gonna start making car noises. Click, 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 click. This horror was everywhere I went. Circling. It's Wake's doing. The cops didn't stand a chance. Come on, they were after a writer, not a monster. Those two should fuck. The FBI agent and the sheriff, clearly there's an incredible amount of sexual tension between the two of them. They should do something to solve that. Is 
This game is called Alan Wake, not Sarah the Virgin. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gangsters relax? The helicopter's gonna get throttled, dog. Oh, there's birds. There's birds. There's birds, there's birds, there's birds. There's somebody up here. Oh. Was I supposed to watch that? I was supposed to watch the helicopter go down. There isn't someone up here. What the fuck? I thought this boiler was someone. Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton. Come in, over. And now we're playing Firewatch. Uh, There's something glittering over there. Out the door. What is that supposed to mean? Looks like they have a lot in common. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Radio station. Is that where we're headed to? No, 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 no. Dog. Firewatch 2 looks so good. I think I'd die if I jumped off the top of this tower. Oh, it's only one story. I wouldn't die. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. I could have jumped off. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Thought so I don't ever get to focus? Directions to the coal mine? What? Bro? Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. We gonna put this spotlight on it. There's a spotlight where my heart used to be. I'm so gold, I'm so gold, I'm so gold. <sighs> okay. I'm already gonna put four and six together and get 23. You gotta turn the generator on. There's some real quality Dead by Daylight gameplay going on here. They should put Alan Wake in Dead by Daylight. That's what they should do. Yeah, yeet. If they can put Bill from Left 4 Dead in there, they can put Alan Wake, dog. That'd be a nice throwback. Yeah. That would be. That'd actually be a nod to another video game. They could put the dude from Evil Within in there, too. I can't remember his name. I played through both those games. Admittedly, I might have been a little blitzed the entire time, but it's neither here nor there. That's the only way you're going to get me to play a scary game. Whatever the fuck just happened, I didn't see it. But hey, if you're a little blitz the entire time, you can't be afraid of anything. 
how many times during the Evil Within playthroughs did I just turn corners and be like, oh shit. Oh my god. Damn, somebody is fucking up cop cars. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. Oh, shit. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Can I actually see Alan Wake working well with Dead by Daylight? I agree. I concur. Press RB to throw a flash bang rang. Hey, 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 hey. Pete! My nigga! These niggas got cooked. Holy fuck. Nope. Catch. Oh! Oh! Ah! Why do we keep throwing it in front of me? Stop it! Look at this perfectly flat shirt. Is there anyone missing a shirt? <laughs> Alan Wake reminds me of a Friday the 13th map as well. A lot of them, anything that's at night in the woods all looks the same. <laughs> and here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. KBFFM? What's on your mind, Mill? Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there. <laughs> lots of sirens. Uh, I don't know. Around, I I what game is this? Shot. Anime King? Did you know? On Twitch TV, if you look directly beneath the title, it'll tell you what category we're playing under. Which also happens to be the game we're playing. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 but, ago. on the off chance... That you don't know how to read. We're playing Alan Wake. Uh, I'm certainly gonna give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. My nigga Pat Main, dog. My nigga Pat Main. The one and only. Oh no, we're not playing this game, Doug. Bye, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anime King, you're welcome, Doug. Thank you for coming through. Bro, 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 bro. Why are you gonna act like this? I like this chapter so far, Doug. Who the fuck is following me? All right, come along. Where am I supposed to go? Doug, why are you gonna make me waste a flashbang on you, Doug? I don't feel so bad for using them then. Hold up, this looks like the right way to go. Oh my god, Doug. I'm leaving the... What? Holy fuck. You gamers are just in need of some coochie. Is there actually like different ways to go? Oh no, this isn't. Why do I keep thinking that? This isn't the type of game to do that. What did that start? 
Oh, there's a light over there for me to heal myself. Ooh, we got flares. Ooh, wait. So direct flares don't kill. Flare guns do, and flashbangs do. Hmm. Don't worry, Anime King. Don't worry, bruh. Make a please. Nice throw, jackass. What does that make you feel? Dingle doofus. Yeah. Fuck off, dickhead. Stop chasing a grown man through the woods. Go get a job. Gainful employment. Maybe a hobby. I like how now I have 11 fucking batteries and no gun to shoot with. You just can't give me both, can you? Come on, nigga, please. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say whale. Fuck out of here, dude. Hey, I'm gonna toss another one. No, you freeze, nigga. What did I tell you, niggas? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I don't have any more flashbangs. I need to figure out how to get in here. Can I just? Ooh, it's that easy. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Why, hello, Lorna. Early bird, the night owl, the voice of Pat Main, all night, every night. Hmm.